the Romo adventure. Biff and Chip, Biff and Chip were doing a project on the Romos. The project was for Miss May. Biff made a carrot and Chip drew a picture. Mom and Dad looked at the project. The Romans were interested, said Biff. Chip showed Mom his picture. It was pulled by four horses. Biff showed his show Dad the model. The model. Biff. The Romans had carry races, said Biff. The races were dangerous. Mom and Dad played a joke on Biff. Kipper had some pizza and Mom had some grapes. This is Romo's supper, said Mom. Romo's drunk had pizza, laughed Biff. How do you know? asked Mom. Biff and Chip want went to Biff's room. Biff wanted to paint, painted to take the carrot to the school, but she still had to paint it. Chip was a good, Chip was good at painting, so he helped it, Biff. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow and take them to a new adventure. The magic took the children back to Romo times. It took them to Romo. The, uh, the look, a, a little girl looked at this model. It's a good model, she said, but it doesn't look quite right. I never seen a real Garage said Biff. The Romo girl was called Diana. And she had a brother called Mike. Michael. He was a carriage driver. Mark looked at Biff model. Carrot, I show you a real carrot, he said. Terranet. Mark opened some big doors. Inside was a real Harriet. It was like big muscle, but it was very big. Wow, said Biff. Mark laughed at Biff. You have to be strong to race Carrot. Terris, Terrises, he said. I'm in a race today. Come on. Come and watch. Everyone was hungry, so Diana took the children home. We can have some bread, she said. My father is a baker. He makes the best bread in Rome. Everyone looked at the bread, but it's some, but something was wrong. The bread doesn't look right. It was flat. I don't think I don't like look like bread at all. Diana made some more bread. He baked it into the oven, but it was flat too. This is bad, said Diana. Father, nobody will buy bread like this. Chip looked at the flat. Last bread, he had a good idea. We can make pizzas, he said. What are pizzas? Uh, then I know we don't know what pizzas are. Chip told Diana, Mom, to make pizzas. Everyone helped it. Diana, Mom, Mother cooked the pizza in the big oven. The pizzas look good. I hope you like them," said Chip. "Everyone likes pizza," said Beth. They went outside to sell the pizza, but no was but nobody was 
in the street, there was nobody to buy the pizza. Diana had an idea. She put some pizzas in the basket. Come on, she called. If, if everyone is at the carrier races, we can sell the pizzas there. The children saw Mike. They took the pizzas to the carrier races. Come on and buy a pizza, called Diana. But nobody bought the pizza. Everyone was looking at the races. The children saw Mike, so they gave him one of the pizzas. Beth looked at the carrier race at the car at the chariot. She had a good idea. Why the children had a banner. It was about it was about the pizzas. Mark put it on his carrot. The people laughed when they saw the banner. Why is Mark putting a banner on his chariot? People asked, and what are pizzas? The race began and everyone cheered when Mark came first. People ran to buy pizzas. Pizzas. These pizzas are good, they said. What what a good idea to put banner on the carrot race. Just then some soldiers grabbed the family and the children. You must stop selling pizzas. They said the emperor wants to see you. See you. Come with us. The emperor was angry. This has to got to stop. Who put this banner on the carrot? On the terror rate? Would you, and what are pizzas? Would you like to try one? Yes, Diana. They taste good. They taste good, said the emperor. Said, they taste good, said the emperor. Can, you can deliver them to the palace, but I don't want banners on the carrot races, so take your banner away. Then the magic key began to glow. It's time to go home. Chip looked at the little banner. He put it on Biff Carrot Race. The Emperor don't like banners on Carrot Race. He said, I wonder Miss May will sing.